It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer that I picked up in Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencers. And uh, it's a beer from Arbor Ales. And this is the Talus in Wonderland American Pale Ale. This beer is coming in at 4.8% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Uh, based in the Bristol area of the UK, I actually kind of wandered to their brewery when I did my kind of beers and bars of Bristol in 2022. Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Wander around, had a couple of their beers. Yeah, pretty good. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. So uh, Talus is a hop. Whoa, whoa, look at that. You certainly filled that one. It's all over my hands. I'd rather an overpour than an underpour. I'd much prefer to have more beer in a can than, you know, less beer in a can. The only trouble is you've got to throw the first bit in the glass. You can't. You have to be really careful with the pour. So beer in the glass, then we've got a three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation as the beer is sliding up the glass there. Carbonation sliding up the glass. And it's, yeah, it's hazy, it's straw colored. Looks good. Looks very, very good, look at that. You roll that glass of beer around, look at that, look at the way it's kind of recreating that head. Maybe, maybe, a, it, it seems a little lively, the head, maybe there's a touch of kind of second fermentation going on here. It did seem lively when I opened it, and it's definitely lively, you know, it's one of those beers, you whirl it round a bit and kind of froths up, doesn't it? So let's get the aroma then. Talus hops. I've probably tried them in the past, but I've never had a beer before that's been called Talus. Yeah, it smells a little bit like lime and coconut. Quite sharp and citrusy. It smells pretty good. It does. Uh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Really carbonated. Really, really quite. What's the word? There's so much carbonation in the beer that it almost feels like the beer's floating in your mouth. Do you know that sensation you get when you drink something really carbonated, like a really kind of carbonated soda, ice cream soda or something like that from a bottle, carbonated bottle of drink and it's kind of beer. We've all had them and you can, it almost feels like it's floating down. Well, I, I had that sensation and it's really kind of, Aggressive on the tongue. The carbonation is really hissing and fizzing on the tongue. It's an aggressive carbonation. <laughs> and you can hear it coming back. But it's really refreshing. It really is refreshing. It's it's full of that kind of lime. That lime flavour I was talking about in the aroma. A little bit of coconut. Dare I say it, touch of passion fruit. Very easy to say passion fruit mango, isn't it? When, when you're kind of 
reviewing a beer, drinking a beer with New World hops in it. Sometimes I feel lazy when I say passion fruit and mango. Sometimes I feel it's just a quick kind of sentence to chuck at you guys. Uh, but there is, there is a little bit of passion fruit, a little bit of mango in there. So you'll be able to see now. So I've managed to get that kind of head down to a decent level. Um, I'll go really quiet with the pour, but I can almost imagine now that... You could probably pour this beer as quiet as you like. Yeah, look. I've seen these types of beers a million times before where no matter how slow you pour, it kind of recreates that head quite aggressively. It's probably, as I mentioned, it's either it's either a little bit of second fermentation in the can or it's either the other thing and that would be where they kind of over, over carbonated the beer. But I bought this in Cardiff, Marks and Spencer. You could buy this in another Marks and Spencer in another part of the world, another part of the UK, I should say. And it'll be fine because it's a different batch. It's probably batch to batch. Unfortunately, I've had a batch that's quite carbonated. But we'll get there. We'll get to the bottom. I, I want to be able to get to the bottom to see if it is, in fact, uh, any sediment in the in the bottom of the glass, which might suggest that it's the second fermentation process happened in the in the glass of beer. So we'll carry on drinking for now. Almost, when it's this carbonated, it almost feels like a spritzer. Like, remember them 1960s kind of, my grandfather had one on his little home bar in his house. Like this, they were like a, a carbonator thing. It was like, and you had a little button on the top and it, and it would it had a little spout on the side and it would kind of shoot some fizzy kind of water into your drink. I think the time when cocktails were a big thing. Right, I think we can be, get this last bit now. <clears throat> yeah, look at that, you can see. There you go, there's the culprit right there. See all that yeast in the, in the bottom of the glass there? Um, it's, second from, it's the second fermentation process in the can. It's just highly, well, highly carbonated. It's just carbonated the beer a bit more. Okay. <laughs> the scientific processes of beer. Um, not overly sweet. Not overly bitter. Not much of a description. Let's rate it. I like it. I like it, but I, I feel like I've spent most of my time in this review talking about the carbonation and trying to pour the beer rather than concentrating on the beer's flavours <laughs> and burping. Um, I prefer my beers less carbonated. I would prefer just to kind of enjoy the flavours of the beer rather than kind of concentrating and pouring and burping. And So I, I think I paid £3 for the can. Um, as I said, you might buy a can of this beer, it might be a different batch, it might be absolutely fine. But for me, it's a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. It just kind of, almost kind of ruins the experience a little bit. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.